Tristan24 here, welcome back to another video on the channel, today is Vlogmas, day number 7, and today, as you can tell by the title, as always, today I've got a list 1 to 10, but this time, 5 old Christmas films, 5 new, so, today's video, I'm giving you 5 of my top favourite ones, and 5 new ones from this year, that look quite good, so, stick around to the end of the video to find out all 10, and let me know your favourite one from new and old in the comments. Let's go. We'll start from 10 to 6 with the new films. So the ones that are released in 2021. And then 5 to 1 will be the old Christmas films. So let's go. In 10th place is a new Christmas film called David and the Elves. It looks really, really good. I've seen the trailer for all of these. But this one just seems very interesting. I'm not too sure if it's coming to Netflix soon. Or something if it's new to cinemas I've just seen it around it looks very very good if you want to have a look type it into YouTube and the trailers on there or into Google but yeah that looks really good David and the elves and number nine is one that I think I probably watched before Christmas it's a new one boxing day at first I didn't actually think it was gonna be Christmas related um, but it actually is it's in cinemas now at the time recording of course semp of December um, and it looks really good I haven't seen the trailer for that one um, but the cover and the description of it looks really good so hopefully we can see it soon and I'll let you know in a future video if you want what I'd give it but that also looks very good number eight Father Christmas is back now this one I only heard about like two days ago it's really new to me as well so I don't know a lot about this one. Um, I haven't even seen the trailer. But recommended to me. And that's why it's on the list. So no real explanation for that one. But it's new and it's a Christmas film. So uh, check it out. Number 7. A Boy Called Christmas. And like number 8 as well. This one I haven't seen the trailer. But it does sound really good. A Boy Called Christmas. Not too sure what it's about. I think it's in cinemas or coming to Netflix soon. It's one of them, I've seen that, definitely. Um, but yeah, that also looks really good. Next place for the new ones, it's only one it's going to be, isn't it? Home Sweet Home Alone, this sort of the remake of Home Alone. Haven't seen it, seen the trailer. I don't know what to think of it, really. I think I probably will uh, watch it soon. It's, in, it's on Disney+, Plus. sorry. So if anyone wants to watch that, it's on Disney+. Plus. Um, but... I'm going to probably watch it at some point, but I don't know if I want to really. I've seen the trailer, it looks okay. It's just because Home Alone with Kevin McAllister um, and all that. Of course, Macaulay Culkin. Um, but I don't know if it'll be the same, if you get what I mean. But yeah, the remake, we'll see. Going on to the top five old ones. Now, in number five, I have Click and Collect. I come across this one the other day, uh, a few weeks ago, sorry, but it looks so good. Like, I'm not even kidding, it's come to Netflix soon, and I think it's going to be an amazing Christmas film, really popular in the future, hopefully, because it looks really good. I definitely recommend it to everyone. If you have Netflix, watch it. I don't know when it's released, I think it's next week. Four is Deck the Horse. Now, this one I absolutely love. Every year, got to watch it, because it's just funny, traditional Christmas film. And, yeah, it's funny, that one was released in 2006. 15-year-old film, wow. Uh, by the way, Click and Collect was 2018, it's also fairly new as well. But Deck the Halls, number four. Three has to be one of the best Christmas films. It's Christmas Chronicles. Uh, one and two, one was released in 2018, number two, 2020, so last year. Um, but still relatively new. But not this year. Um, but Christmas Chronicles, since it's come out, it's been 
you know, especially the first one, I really like that one. It was just, um, especially watching the film for the first time, you don't know what's going to happen. I like that feeling. And uh, over the last few years, I sort of forget what happened. But it's so good now, I know what's going to happen, which is a little bit annoying, but it's still a cracking film. Two, I've watched this one two nights ago, and it was Polar Express. It never gets old, does it? The Polar Express. Such an amazing film. And, yeah, Tom Hanks plays seven characters in that as well, so amazing. And, um, yeah, the story's good as well, isn't it? Imagine if that actually happened. And number one, there's only one for this. It is Home Alone 1 and 2. The first one actually been released in 1990. The second, 1992, so very old films, um, for the, so very old films, but they're just so, so good, and I hope the remix, remix, and I hope the remake of it doesn't really spoil the original Home Alone, because the original Home Alone is just so good, um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys, that has been it today. Thank you all very much for watching. Let me know your favourite film, new and old, in the comment section down below. I'll see you tomorrow for yet again another video. Take care, guys.